What's up, everyone? Welcome to Cooking with Jib. I'm your boy, Jib. So today, as you can see, we got a lot of stuff out in front of us. This is similar to what I had one day when I was sitting there going, huh, I wonder if I can make chili. What do I got? I got tomatoes. I uh, got some Brussels, onions, garlic. I'm like, I got all the components. So we're going to move everything out of the way. I'll roll what you might need. We'll get to work on Jib's chili. <laughs> Before we throw in the beef with the onion and garlics, we gotta let the oil come up to temp. So while we wait for that to heat, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my coffee and salt, black pepper, all of my other spices. I'm gonna go ahead and throw those together in a little container. Now, I do wanna say, please excuse the back and forth you're about to see here in a second. Uh, we are gonna just hop back and forth between prepping our spices and cooking off the onion, garlic, and beef. As a reminder, I recommend using a wooden spoon. This way you don't scratch the bottom of your pan. And in case anything starts to burn or stick, I feel personally it's easier to get it off with a wooden spoon. In case you guys did not notice, my coffee doesn't look like normal coffee, and that's because it's not really. It's fine grounds or espresso ground even, so uh, if you guys have just normal coffee grounds at home, depending on how dark or light it is, feel free to use one-fourth or even one-half of what the recipe is calling for. So I'm giving everything a stir that's in the pot, making sure nothing sticks. I have the Brussels chopped up, those will go in soon. Now I'm going to get all my tomato and liquids ready, so I got my... Uh, 16 ounces of tomato sauce. I'm opening up my stewed diced tomatoes and my tomato paste. I just want to share something personal I do. I always add vinegar or tomato based products to my pot when making chili before I add stock or broth. I feel the acidity helps break up some of the stuff on the bottom of the pan before the stock can get there. So this is something personal I do, but by all means, if you guys have your own method, feel free to do that. So I added one cup of stock. As you've seen, I'm going to start cleaning up everything. I have about 35 minutes to wait. Once those 35 minutes are up, we're going to go ahead and take the wooden spoon again, stir everything, we're going to drop the heat from a medium to a low, and we're going to start grabbing the uh, next ingredients to add to the chili. So 
if you guys have never cooked with coffee before, especially in a chili, it will stick to the bottom. So if you want to let the chili go for two hours, three hours, however long you want, you got to add it in the last 30 minutes. Make sure you put the heat on a really low, low setting and just kind of let it go. Don't mess with it. Uh, 15 minutes in, scrape the bottom, and that's about it. So once it's done, feel free to throw some cheddar cheese on there. That's kind of how I like my chili. As you can see, it looks awesome. Uh, the Brussels themselves have already kind of broken down. I feel it just adds a really nice uh, texture to the chili. It's just a personal thing I like to do. This is out of my cookbook, which is off to the side. If you guys want that, feel free to go to blurb.com, look up the Struggle Bus Cookbook. It's like $25. Uh, so yeah, I'd appreciate if you guys did that. Look at other videos, subscribe, like, comment, share below. With that, guys, I'm going to eat this. So thanks for watching. As always, peace.